Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Gilson MSA-134 Marshall Stability and Flow Data Acquisition Software to determine the stability and flow of asphalt pavement mixtures. The Gilson Marshall Stability and Flow Data Acquisition Software is an intuitive, easy-to-use, Windows-based program that records and graphs the maximum load and total displacement of the test specimen during loading. Test results are automatically calculated in accordance with ASTM and ASHTO standards. Three tested samples are included within a single data file, and test results can be printed in a customizable PDF and easily exported into spreadsheet applications such as Excel. Before we start, let's review the menu options. At the top of the interface, we have File, Utilities, and Help. Click on File, and we can start a new test, open an existing test, save a test, save a test as a copy, export test results as a PDF, preview your test report, print your test report, and exit the program. Click on Utilities, and we can enter the test settings. Click on Help to find assistance with this program or to activate your software. Here at the top you will also see File Command icons. Now that we have reviewed the menu bar, let's demonstrate how to perform a new Marshall Stability and Flow test using the Gilson Marshall Stability and Flow Data Acquisition Software. For this demonstration, we're going to use the software's practice feature which I'll point out later. If we're going to perform an actual Marshall stability test, you will need to prepare three samples in accordance with ASTM and ASHTO specifications. Click on File and New to begin the process. Now click on Utilities and Settings. Enter the Readout Box Channel Assignment. Enter the equipment used for the test. If you are using an on-screen keyboard, like the one found on a tablet, be sure to enable the pop-up keyboard keypad function. For this demonstration, we are using a standard desktop keyboard, so we will leave this box unchecked. Now select Desired Measurement Units. Next, enter the testing agency information that will be included in the test report. Finally, click Save and Close. Now we are going to connect the computer to the testing device. Make sure the load cell, displacement transducer, and micro USB connections are secured in the back of the digital readout box. In the yellow highlighted box, Start Communications, select the proper serial port connecting the computer to the digital readout box. Feel free to click on the practice box to familiarize yourself with the program and its operations. Uncheck the practice box once you are ready to continue with the test. Once connected, the load and travel values will be displayed in the bottom right corner of the Start Communications tile. Gently move the displacement transducer up and down to confirm the connection. The travel value should change. Now the Project Sample Information field will be highlighted in yellow. Complete the project information including project name, project and test ID, test date, and client information. Next, enter the sample information including sample width, testing temperature, percent binder, and average bulk specific gravity. Areas in yellow such as the sample width are required to be completed before you can proceed with the test. Now use the drop down menu and select what type of sample is being tested lab mixed, plant mixed, or pavement core. Finally, click Set New File and select a file location using File Explorer. Create a file name and save. Now, the Run 3 Sample Test field will be highlighted. Enter the sample height and recording frequency. If nothing is entered in the recording frequency box, 
then displacement and load data will be collected at a frequency of one reading per second. Or you can choose when the program automatically stops recording data by entering a peak load value in the field labeled stop when load drops below peak. Now you are ready to begin the test. Mount the first sample on the platen. It is not necessary to click tear. The displacement transducer will automatically be teared at the beginning of the test. Click Start Test. Switch the plant in advance to Up, and the program will begin recording data. Data acquired during the test will be displayed in real time on the computer screen in a tabular format and graphically. Once the first sample has reached its peak load value, click Stop Test and the data will stop being recorded. If a load drop value was entered in the Stop When Load Drops Below Peak field during the test setup, the data will stop being recorded at the specified load. Next, lower the planton by clicking on the Down button on the load frame. Now remove the first sample. A Start Sample 2 button will appear. Seat Sample 2 on the planton. Change the sample height value in the sample test tile for the second sample and click Start Sample 2. Switch the platen advance to Up on the load frame and the program will again begin recording data. Test data for each sample are displayed in the bottom right of the software program. Once the second sample has reached its peak load value, click Stop Test and the data will stop being recorded. If a load drop value was entered in the Stop When Load Drops Below Peak field during the test setup, the load will automatically stop and the data will stop being recorded. Next, lower the platen by clicking on the Down button on the load frame. Now, remove the second sample. A Start Sample 3 button will appear. Seat Sample 3 on the platen. Change the sample height value in the sample test tile for the third sample. Click Start Sample 3. On the load frame, switch to platen Advance Up, and the program will again begin recording data. At the completion of the final sample test, the following message will be displayed. Test has finished. Data has been saved to selected file. Now the data collected will automatically be ready for viewing, sharing, printing, or exporting to other programs. For any questions concerning the Gilson MSA-134 Marshall Stability and Flow Data Acquisition Software, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.